Wave and Girls. Happy to see you and I'm sure you're all looking lovely. Happy new month. Imagine we are in the month of July. Ha! <sighs> Can I give our God a big clap for taking care of us, for looking after us, for keeping us safe all the way from January till now we are in July. For some of you, I'm sure you've started your long summer break and for others, your school is still in session. But all in all, we thank God for everything and I'm happy to be here with you this beautiful Sunday. Here, it's a bit chilly, but I'm sure it will be warm. Are you warm where you are? Are you putting on warm clothes? Great, so welcome to class. And before we start, I want us to pray and then we'll sing a song together when we dive right into our lesson. So let us close our eyes and say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful Sunday. We thank you for the wonderful lessons that you teach us every day. Jesus, may you help us to continue to believe in you, to love you, and to keep your word in our hearts. And above all, Lord, may you make your light shine in our lives in everything we do, in our thoughts, O oh Lord, and in our actions. In Jesus' name we believe and pray. Amen. And everyone said, Amen. So, I want us to put our hands together and clap. Tell everyone around you, it's time to praise and worship God. It's time to praise and worship God. If you're able to come to church physically, you are welcome. If you're not able to, you can watch this video and invite your friends to watch. And down there, when you have finished watching the video lesson, there are, there are always worksheets for you to, go, to do. So please talk to your parent or your guardian to download those worksheets for you so that you can be able to do the little homework that is there after the lesson, all right? Okay, so I know you know this song that says, I command my body to praise the Lord. And you can sing with any part of your body. So we'll start with our hands. I command my hands to praise the Lord. I command my mouth to praise the Lord. I command my whole body to praise the Lord. Are we ready? Good job. So let's put our hands together. I command my hands to praise the Lord. I command my hands to praise the Lord. I command my hands to praise the Lord. I command my hands. To praise the Lord, hands, praise the Lord, hands, praise the Lord, hands, praise the Lord, hands, praise the Lord. I command my mouth to praise the Lord. I command my mouth to praise the Lord. I command my mouth. To praise the Lord, I command my mouth to praise the Lord. Mouth, praise the Lord. Mouth, praise the Lord. Mouth, praise the Lord. Mouth, praise the Lord. I command my body to praise the Lord. I command my body to praise the Lord. Body, praise the Lord. Body, praise the Lord. Wow, give Jesus a big clap. And this song tells us and reminds us that God created you and I and all of us to praise and worship him. So every time, remember to praise and worship who? God. You can put on a song and dance to Jesus. You can sing songs that give him praise and honor to his name. That is why we are saying that I command my body, I command my mind, I command all of me to praise who? God. 
okay good so welcome to today's lesson and the topic for this month boys and girls is memorable bible stories wow memorable comes from the word memory where is our memory we remember things when we think and we think using our brain and our brain is in our head so when you say memorable we touch our heads here we say memorable bible stories if you're sitting next to an adult either your mommy or your daddy or your grandparents or your uncle or your auntie ask them what is their memorable bible story which story do, do they remember when they were in the sunday school when they were growing up in the bible hmm have they have they shared with you aha uh -huh. great if they haven't tell them to remember and tell you their favorite stories they remember from the bible how about you boys and girls do you have any bible story that you remember so far that the teachers have been teaching you others you have been learning on your own the cartoons that you have been watching uh, bible characters any bible story you remember Aha, uh -huh. I guess you have many. You can share them with the people around you in the house. For me, I have so many. But one that comes in my mind even when I'm sleeping and then I wake up and I remember that story is the story of the prophet Elijah and the Baal prophets. How many Baal prophets were there? Four hundred. Imagine, four hundred Baal prophets. And they had made the children of Israel to forget about God and they were worshipping idols. And Elijah prayed to God. And they had a contest. They had a competition. They wanted to know who is a true God. And Elijah said everyone to bring their sacrifice. The, Baal, the people who were worshipping Baal brought their sacrifice and Elijah brought it. And guess what boys and girls? Fire came from heaven. You know that story, right? So that story for me it's one of my favorite i have many others but today i will tell you the story that we'll be learning about today so as we read about uh, memorable bible stories we will be talking about serving god everyone can you say serving god how do we serve god come with me as we go right in the bible and find our story this is my bible i guess everyone has their bible it's God's word. He tells us what to do and he tells us what God wants from us. So, it's, the story for today is found in the book of First Samuel. Okay? First Samuel. It's a very long story, but I will uh, shorten it. When you have time, tell your parents to read for you the whole story. So, in the book of First Samuel, from chapter 1 there, there's this boy, Samuel. And remember, our lesson is about serving God. And we know a little bit about Samuel. First of all, Samuel had a mom. What was the name of the mother? Uh-huh. If you said Hannah, you are correct. And what was the name of the dad? Great. If you said Elkanah, yeah, Elkanah was the father and Hannah was the mommy. But before Samuel was born, the mommy was not happy. She was always crying. And she was crying because there was another mommy who used to punish her and laugh at her and make fun of her because she didn't have children. And this mommy was called Penina. She was not a kind mother at all. So every time she would tell Hannah, oh, look at your life, you have no child. Oh, God has forgotten about you. And she would torment Hannah and Hannah would cry. But every year they used to go to offer their sacrifice at the temple. And that year... When they went to the temple, Hannah cried to God. A temple is the modern now church today. Like now we are sitting in church. So she went there and she prayed to God. The Bible says that she poured her heart before God. And she was crying. And the words were not coming out. But she was closing her eyes and her mouth was moving. And she was saying her deepest, deepest desire to God. And the priest Eli or Eli was in the temple. And when he was passing by... He looked at Hannah and he thought, maybe she's drunk. Then he asked Hannah, why are you drunk this morning? And Hannah says, no, I am not drunk. I am just pouring my heart out to God. Pouring your heart to God is praying to God. 
And the priest told Hannah, may God answer your prayer. And so they went. And uh, after some time, Hannah got the baby. Now, whom we are talking about today. And she named him Samuel. And she had said, she had told God, God, if you give me a child, a son, I will give back this child to church to serve you. And that is what Hannah did. So Hannah brought the baby, uh, now a big boy, Samuel, to church. And Samuel was working in church. He was helping maybe to wipe things here and there, to arrange things in the church. And he was there with Eli. And a time came when now God called Samuel because he wanted, uh, he had some, uh, some work for Samuel to do. Just like all of us, all of us boys and girls. God has called us. He knows our name. And when Hannah was giving Samuel this name, she says that the name Samuel means, I asked the Lord for him. Do you know what your name means? Hmm. My name is Annette. And I'm sure it means something nice. So, boys and girls, I'll, I'll, I'll pose a challenge to you. Ask your mommy and your daddy, what is the meaning of your name? Because for Samuel, it meant the mommy asked from God for him and God gave him to the mommy and so Samuel while Samuel was in the church helping the priest and learning things in the church God called him it was at night and the Lord called Samuel and Samuel woke up and he went straight to where the priest Eli was and he said you have called me here I am and Eli said no I've not called you boy go back to sleep Samuel went back to sleep. He slept. Again, a second time here, Samuel. He wakes up. He looks everywhere. There's no one. He goes to Eli. And Eli says, no, I have not called you. He went, slept. A third time again, he had his name. He went to Eli. And now that third time, the priest Eli realized, oh, oh, this boy, he's been called by God. You know, now Eli was becoming old and his eyes were not uh, seeing very well. So, and he was forgetting things. So he just remembered this boy, he's being called by God. So he told Samuel, go sleep. If he calls you again, tell him, here I am. Lord. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Speak, for your servant is listening. Those are the words that uh, the priest Eli told Samuel to say to God. So Samuel went back to sleep. Now, a fourth time, God came and called Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. I want us to end our story there where God is talking to Samuel. He's calling Samuel. And Samuel responds and he says, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Boys and girls, what do we learn from that story? And our lesson is about serving God. Remember, Samuel was in the church in the temple and in that place he was not just sitting from morning to evening he was doing something he was helping the priest to arrange things to maybe clean the pews that is the work he was doing in church how do we serve God and he also served God in the way he obeyed the priest Eli when Eli told him when he calls you say speak Lord he didn't say ah now I'm not going to say that he obeyed so when we are serving God, we serve God in obedience. Number one, we do the things that he wants us to do. And through our parents or our guardians, when they send us, we do what they are telling us to do. Number two, we walk in obedience. And number three, how else can we serve God? You serve God by coming to church. When you come to church, you meet other people, you make good friends, and you listen to one another, you encourage one another. That is part of serving God. We serve God through prayer. We praying for others, praying for our own needs, praying for the needs of others. We serve God through singing to him nice songs and he feels very good. And we serve God by helping others. When someone is in trouble, it's not your time to laugh at them and make fun of them. But it's time to help if you can. So when you're helping others, we are serving God. So boys and girls, the memorable Bible story for today is about the boy Samuel who served God. And today in the lesson, we are reminded to serve God because God is happy when we serve him. Okay? So we will do our memory verse and then we will pray. 
and our memory verse is from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 10b and it says Samuel answered speak your servant is listening speak your servant is listening boys and girls it's my prayer that you will listen to your parents you will listen to your guardians you'll walk in obedience and in that in so doing you'll be serving God let us pray our father God we thank you for today's lesson and we pray the Lord as we read about these memorable Bible stories we will apply them in our lives the Lord just as uh, Samuel served you we will also have a heart that desires to serve you in our various ways even with the, the boys and girls who are watching and they're thinking they are very small they are too young I know that they can serve you in their little spaces may you help them to know how well they can serve you pray for the parents and their guardians oh Lord take care of them protect them as they raise up their children they are serving you in Jesus name we believe and pray amen see you another time and come with your memorable Bible story bye